Banana phone? Hey guys! Hey guys! <laughs> hey you guys, Erin, hey. Dusty, Max, and Liv, and welcome back to Eat Move Rest to our kitchen here in tropical Florida. Yes. And we are going to share, obviously, our whole foods plant based food haul with you guys today. Yep, let's get into it. Oh, that's the damage. So this is our bill, our Whole Foods, Whole Food plant-based grocery haul yes. this fall. And it is, drum roll please. What, $522, holy wow. moly. We have been in this together for almost eight years now. Liv is a year and a half. She started walking at 10 months. She's right. talking, she's going potty in her potty. She loads the laundry and knows how to start it. Right. This girl is thriving. Max is a star with sports. He's learning his alphabet and ABCs and writing. Yep. Our kids are by no means undernourished. Right. <laughs> we are whole foods, plant-based, and right. we like to place an emphasis in this diet and lifestyle on eating an abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables as close to their natural state as possible. Right. Some raw, some cooked. Yep. So when we go to the grocery store, 99% of what we get is right in front of you. We shop the produce section first and it, the rest is pretty much a breeze. We don't yeah. go in and out of every aisle. Yeah. That being said, we do eat other foods too, but we emphasize these. Nobody can argue with more fruits, more veggies, even if you're not fully plant-based. Right. If you guys are like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I don't know how you eat that amount of fruit and veg. Right. The best thing that you can do to find out would be to check the link in the description below because there's only a couple days left, I think three days left if you're watching this video hot off the press, to grab the plant-based bundle. Right. If you've heard of it before, it is doubled in size this year for the same cost. So you're getting over 200 plant-based ebooks, courses, guides, and other content like meal plans and fitness plans yep. for only $50. It's insane. Most of these ebooks by themselves cost around $50 individually. The best part is that if you missed last week's giveaway, we have another chance to win your choice of $500 Vitamix and or Nama Juicer. If you buy the bundle with our link, you get entered to win. Good luck. This is probably two weeks of food, over two weeks Some in some regard, like the bananas are gonna last us probably three weeks. We buy a case, a 40 pound case of bananas, which equates yep. to about 90 to 100 bananas. Yep. And everybody at checkout <laughs> never fails, always asks, what are you gonna do with all those bananas? Right. How do you eat them before they go rotten? Yep. So honestly, these are not quite ripe yet. Yep. This is a ripe banana. These yep. are when we would eat them and or freeze them, which is what we do with the majority of our bananas. We let them get to this point right. and we freeze them for our smoothies, nice creams, and smoothie bowls. And believe it or not, there are more greens in the refrigerator, more fruits, more veggies. There's some berries in there, but we're really trying to emphasize that you can do this lifestyle in the dead of fall and winter. So right. we're gonna talk a little bit about like our specific holiday foods that we've gathered for Thanksgiving and the holidays. Now being here in Florida, we have a few grocery stores that we go to. One being Publix, which I'm sure most of you, many of you at least, know about Publix. They have quite a bit of pretty good organic Amazing. food. So, and that's just five minutes away. Whole Foods is a long ways away, unfortunately. <laughs> so, like we just showed you, we go there maybe once every two weeks. And yes, we get a lot and have to spend a lot. We're not all on the same budget, we understand that. But you can pretty much find apples, oranges, bananas, fresh fruit, greens at any grocery store. Rather than arguing about the V word, vegan or not, like Aaron always says, we like to emphasize more fruits and veggies. We can all agree that we can be eating more fruits and veggies. Right, especially if you guys have been around here for a while, you know we are the parents to two crazy little kiddos. Right. Max will be four in just a few weeks here in December. Yep. Liv is almost a year and a half. Right. And we really, truly love this lifestyle. It's so abundant. Yep. These foods are what they prefer to eat. They love, love, love their fruits and their veggies. Yep. But in order to bolster our diets with a little bit more calories and things like protein and iron, especially with little kiddos, yep. like Dusty said, go watch our fridge and pantry tour. We've got lentils, quinoa, oats, 
tons and tons of right. things in bulk, which, you know, we don't just go get fresh things. We also go on like Thrive Market. Yeah. We get specialty items on Amazon from time to time. So yeah. And like just... you said, buy in bulk. Mm -hmm. So you, we actually also did a video before we moved last year. We actually did a video about how to buy in bulk, what to buy in bulk beans, grains, lentils, a lot of these dried things that last a super long time. We, no joke, buy like 25 and 50 pound bags of oats and these things sustain us again, weeks if not months. On top of eating fruits and vegetables, if you wanna take it next level, we always emphasize eating organic, yep. local, and seasonal. If you can get those three down, then you are guaranteed a delicious apple or a delicious <laughs> pineapple or head of broccoli. Right, and better yet, nutritious, right. right? So a lot of times, like we've learned that carrots, for instance, are grown in the desert sands of California, and it kind of makes you wonder how much nutrition are we getting from some of these foods? So like Aaron said, making sure they're organic, local is always best. Make sure that you're getting the most nutritious produce. We did recently just relocate from Midwest, Nebraska, down to South Florida. Yep. So farmer's markets are in full swing now down here, but they might be tapering off. But I do remember back in Nebraska, they would have a holiday harvest market right. about every three weeks or so throughout the holidays. And that was honestly enough for us to stock up on things like kale that lasts a super long time when you're getting it local, organic, and fresh. Right. So if you can find farmers markets even during this time of year, you can still get a lot of things that will last forever. Like this butternut squash, for example, would probably last. I've had one sitting out for like four months at a, at one point and right. it's still perfectly fine when you chop into it. And this yep. is a fun example here too. Yeah. Sweet potatoes. They will start to regenerate and grow new life. So I could plant this and grow my own outside. Just a reminder, fruits and vegetables are living. This is life force. This is why we emphasize and this fruit thing and is veg. old. Like a lot of people right. think, oh, your food is going to rot. I mean, this thing is like at least a couple months old. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how it hasn't rotted. Instead, it's living, right? It's sprouted. Living foods. If you want to feel alive, eat living foods is what we always <laughs> say. Like life gives way to life. And if you think about it, you know, eating dead flesh or eating living foods, like what do you want to be consuming? So we choose abundant, colorful fruits and vegetables. I think it's important too, like we are electrical beings. If right. you zoom in on a microscopic level and look at the cells of something like a thriving, fresh, local, tropical fruit versus like a dead piece of flesh, right. that honestly, <laughs> a, a life had to end for that, not to get preachy, but yeah. what are those cells looking like compared to these cells? Totally, another thing that I always mention to people People. In fact, I was just talking to a friend who is leaning towards the carnivorous diet. You know, if you look at frugivores, if you look at the list from carnivore, omnivore, all the way to frugivores, which is what I tend to think that we are as human beings, you can see that our teeth, our digestive tracts, the fact that we don't have claws or true canines kind of lean more to a fruit-based diet or a plant-based diet similar to this. One of the most intriguing arguments is that we see in color. Do you guys see a lot of color here? See Bo who's walking around, he doesn't see in color. So he doesn't look at an apple tree and see, wow, I should go check that out or bananas hanging from a tree, right? So a lot of these other animals that are true carnivores maybe don't necessarily need or thrive on these colorful fruits and veggies, but we definitely do. We right? can share with you now a little bit how we like to eat all of these, especially like I said, during this time of year when it seems like we should all be consuming bland, boring, beige foods. <laughs> there can still be an abundance of color on your plate. Right, if not all these fruits, at least the sweet potatoes, right? At least things like pomegranate that come into season this time of year. Citrus is about to come into season in winter, and even back in the Midwest, yes, back in Nebraska, we would get the best citrus, so. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny, actually, that citrus comes into season when it's kind of like the peak of cold and flu season, and we right. have the perfect natural remedy. Yep, vitamin C right there. So again, I think it's like God's plan, nature's plan, to provide us with everything we need. Again, throughout the season, Aaron mentioned the butternut squash that lasts through winter, the potatoes that you can harvest in the fall, and they last through winter. I remember my grandparents would have piles of potatoes in their basement storing them, so again, we could eat all winter. And again, definitely go watch our other videos to see what we keep in our pantry. 
Just to mention a couple things, number one, soy milk. It's got a lot of protein, some healthy fat in there. It is USDA organic right. and only contains two ingredients, soybeans and water. Right. And the other things that we are eating a lot of that you aren't seeing here, beans and grains, things like lentils. We buy these big giant ayacote beans and chickpeas. We buy them dried. Again, they'll last maybe years. And we cook them in the instant pot. We put them in our soups and stews every night, again, with some sweet potatoes and mm -hmm. other veggies. So we are eating a big, hearty, <laughs> robust, well-rounded plant-based diet, and we're getting all the things we need. Tons of protein, all the amino acids, iron, and the kids are too. We're highly, highly active as yeah. well. We are lifting weights, running miles, playing on the beach, swimming in the pool, yeah. being out in nature as much as possible, right. and chasing two crazy kiddos around. So totally. we are both eating around 2,500 to 3,000 calories, sometimes more for yep. this one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we eat a lot, but that's one beauty of this lifestyle is it's very abundant. Yep. You can eat a high volume of lower calorie foods, and I've even found when I eat higher calorie, right. I still it doesn't stick like it does on other diets incorporating animal products and processed foods. Right, a lot of people ask about amino acids and protein, and we do actually supplement with Sun Warrior. You guys know this. We've got a cabinet full of our favorite Sun Warrior products. So yes, while we're eating 99% primarily whole foods, this protein powder is something that does make it into our morning smoothies, sometimes our after workout smoothies that the kids will also enjoy occasionally. This stuff is raw, it's organic, and yes, it's got a full amino acid profile, BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, all those things that if you are active, if you are an athlete, we love. They have other amazing products, including omegas. You guys can actually go and watch some supplement videos that we have if you want to learn more about that. But we definitely also love and recommend Sun Warrior for all your protein supplement performance needs. We do get all of the essential amino acids from the whole foods we eat. Right. But we do like having this little bit of extra boost because we're highly active. If you guys want us to do a deep dive into which protein is best for you, let us know in the comments and we can share that with you. If you guys want to try Sun Warrior, use our code EATMOVEREST and click the link below for a discount. So let's talk about what a full day of eating looks like for us right now in the fall and winter. Yep. We're still doing our smoothies. We start every day with a jam-packed green smoothie full of fruits, vegetables, and superfoods. It doesn't taste green, it tastes very sweet and yep. satisfying. The kids even enjoy it. Right. And then we'll usually have some oatmeal with fruit on top and fresh cut fruit on the side. Yep. So we're always eating a lot of apples right now this time of year. Honey crisps are insane. Uh, right. Pomegranates are great to sprinkle on top of oatmeal. Yep. Bananas sliced up or mashed up to sweeten things naturally. I will say frozen fruit. You mentioned oatmeal, so we do buy a lot of frozen fruit. It lasts forever, obviously, and a lot of people actually argue that frozen fruit and vegetables can sometime more nutrient dense because it is locked in, and again, it's kept frozen until it makes it to your plate. So we actually do buy quite a bit of frozen fruit and veg. Yeah, so in the winter we hear a lot, I wanted to keep doing my smoothies because they make me feel good, but I get so cold, and I know that feeling. <laughs> yep. So number one, sit by the fire, or if you're <laughs> on the go, start your car so it's warm. Yep. But if you really want to enjoy a lukewarm or a room temp smoothie, yep. then instead of using frozen, just use fresh bananas. You right. can still, still use like frozen wild blueberries with it, but we do a lot of fresh kale in the fall, fresh collards. Those are my two go-tos that I'm putting in our family smoothies. Right. So, or even if you just let it sit on the counter for 10 minutes or so, yeah. it's gonna bring it to a less frozen state that you can maybe enjoy a little bit better. We'll usually do a morning workout after a pretty darn hearty breakfast. Yeah. We'll come back in, snack on fruit, graze on fruit, and a couple hours later have a late lunch. Yeah, so a lot of people talk a lot about intermittent fasting. We've talked about this in the past, but things have changed a little bit for us, especially since having the kids, because the kids need to eat right away <laughs> in the morning. And honestly, sometimes I feel like I do too. So we aren't as much intermittent fasting as we used to. We're also not just doing smoothies like we used to in the mornings. We're, like we said before, for 
often also having oatmeal, sometimes waffles. My waffle recipe, I just posted an Instagram reel. You guys are gonna absolutely love this. We also have a ton of videos showcasing what we and the kids eat, if that's something you guys are interested in. So we eat such a hearty breakfast and a hearty dinner that Honestly, throughout the day in between, I'm just grazing, usually right. on more fresh produce, fruits and veggies. Yeah. Ideally, on a good week, I'll have prepped some quinoa or a grain of some sort and I'll chop in things like bell peppers, carrots, right. onions, all kinds of flavorful fresh veggies and mix it together. Yeah. And then it's very easy to grab a portion out of the fridge and drizzle with a sauce or dressing like yeah. coconut aminos and just whipping some avocado in there and adding a little salt, pepper and nutritional yeast really does the trick. The kids even like it. For sure. Other meals that are more kid friendly are things like our tortilla quesadilla wraps that I've been making for them. We do buy some organic tortillas from Whole Foods that the kids and me absolutely love. And I do too. <laughs> we'll put some refried black beans on there with some hummus. We all love that. It gets the kids fed and it's full of plant-based nutrition to keep them healthy and growing. And then as far as like breads and pastas, which we do use for the kids as well, yeah. are Ezekiel bread. Another one that's a little bit more friendly if you're easing in is Dave's Killer Bread. It's another organic yeah. option that's a little Super bit more tasty. palatable. And then for pastas, rather than just using a whole wheat pasta, we like to use lentil pasta and chickpea pasta and yeah. brown rice because they just offer a lot more protein and iron. We eat more of those foods, especially now that the kids are around, whereas before, Erin and I were <laughs> juicing almost every day. We're still blending a lot, but we find that we get a little bit more use out of the food when we're blending more than juicing. Either way, this will all be gone in a matter of a <laughs> couple weeks, really. Right. So. And then for the kiddos' lunch, again, they prefer and would only eat fruit if right. we allowed it. So. Right. We usually make them a hearty meal and then we have the fruit and veg that they want for like a dessert. Right. So they're getting more calories that way secretly and they don't even realize it because no. they'll never turn down a fresh honey crisp in the fall <laughs> or like berries in the summer. We just feel like we're setting our kids up right because they love helping us in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. They love the whole foods. They're already like have healthy seeded guts. You can tell because they sit down and they eat your salads with you. Like right. they're picking through Aaron's kale. <laughs> Max peppers. goes, give me a big bite, mom. Cause I'm yeah. trying to like pick and make sure whatever I give him he enjoys. But right. he is encouraging me He's watching me right now. He's encouraging <laughs> me to give him a big boy bite of the salad with all the stuff in it and he loves it. So I'm totally. so proud of where they're headed and I know a lot of you are concerned about right. if I go plant-based with my kids, what do I do when they go to grandma and grandpa's and get fed all the sugary junk food and what right. do I do at birthday parties so they don't feel left out or after soccer games yep. when another mom brings like some type of you know <laughs> snack that has animal products and I say do your best forget the rest 99% yeah. of the time what happens under your roof at home is what matters most right you kind of have to let the rest slide and let them learn for themselves because if they're eating this way 99% of the time at home their guts will be seated they will naturally have a preference for these foods and totally. the junky ones what they'll learn over time maybe don't make them feel as good snacks between lunch and dinner are typically baked goods and more fresh fruit and veg and before dinner time's main event, our main course, I'll typically chop me and Dusty a massive raw rainbow salad, including kale and romaine and spinach and arugula, whatever greens we have on hand, yep. and topping it with literally like one of every color of the rainbow. That's part of the fun of it, is making your meals beautiful. For dinner, I'm usually the one cooking and making something big and hearty. I love making a big stew because it lasts two or three nights and let's be honest, we're busy with crazy kids. I don't want to spend every evening in the kitchen. So these big hearty meals like our best chili ever, our yellow curry, other Indian dishes in the slow cooker. These big hearty meals are always based around a few things. Number one, potatoes. <laughs> Sweet potatoes and like I mentioned, the Yukon gold potatoes are amazing. Whether we're making our chili or our big Indian curries, we also follow up with beans and grains. A lot of people don't love beans or grains, but that can be easily changed with Spices. We have a huge assortment of spices that will turn any bland food into something delicious. After our base of potatoes, beans, and grains, we follow it up with onion, 
garlic, cauliflower, broccoli, peppers, carrots. These things seriously make it into almost every one of our dinners. They're just spiced a little bit different and they're always delicious, always hearty, and keeping us fueled, healthy, growing. And then usually the greens fairy will come by and sprinkle a torn up bunch of whatever greens are on hand and dust them lightly into whatever's sitting on the stove top. Right, so now if you guys' whose mouths are watering just listening to us and you want these recipes, we have a ton of videos with these recipes here on our channel. We have some recipe eBooks or Best yet is the Eat Move Rest Meal Planner, which is a web-based app that is mobile and web-friendly, so you can open it on your computer, on your countertop, and it's also coming very soon to the App Store to become an official app, and we're so excited. We've got a few thousand users currently, which means we're helping a ton of people <laughs> eat their best and therefore look, feel, and be their best with everything we just showed you, so definitely go and check that out. All right, you guys. We're in it to win it. We hope you'll join us. Even if you don't go all in, try to incorporate more color, especially during these dark, cold winter months. If you're interested in learning more, if you have some personal questions, reach out on Instagram. Yep. DM us at Aaron Stanzik at DB Stanzik. Be sure to grab the plant-based bundle. It's only here for a couple more days and then it's gone. Yep. And be sure to check out our meal planner. Definitely. We'll be back next week with some recipes. I think we've got a pot pie recipe coming very, very soon that we've never made before anywhere on this channel ever. So we've got that plus another couple of fun recipes coming up for the holidays. Stay tuned, subscribe, follow along, comment below. We love you guys. We'll see you very soon. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzics. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 